Welcome, Jaakko Alasarela. Super great to have you here. Thank you for joining this meeting. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. It's a privilege to be with you. <laughs> I don't know, Jaakko. It's a privilege to have you on the show. Jaakko is a founder CEO of a software company, Zef. You can see their logo there up on the left side. And they have a super intelligence uh, survey too. And I, I use it all the time, and we have great joy. But hey, tell the story, and tell also about what is the patent behind, because I understood that. Yeah, th this is actually, Zeph was founded by my father yeah. back in 1997. Okay. So we have a pretty long history, and actually, we, we did a research in 2003, and we studied carefully all the survey companies uh, which were like running that time, and we didn't found any any other survey com like uh, companies providing surveys than Jeff, which has started in 1997. Okay. So it might even be so that we are the very first online survey provider in the whole world. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and from the beginning, the idea was to do intelligent surveys in in like a uh, so, so, so that the question type is two-dimensional question, so that you can ask at the same time how well things are going, and at, at the same time, at the same time, how important the respondent feels the question. Yeah, I'm using and, that all the time. <laughs> yeah, and it, it has been, it's actually a little bit like a funny thing because uh, it was uh, 2001 when we sent the patent application in the USA to patent. Uh, answering and uh, reporting survey results in uh, 2D, like a question type, so that it's like a 2D area. And we got a patent in uh, 2009. So we have patented data collection and anal analysis in 2D area in the USA. It took only eight years, only eight years. <laughs> only. <laughs> really, really super nice. Hey, how many are you today? <laughs> Uh, right now we have like a, it's the exact number of 16, like a full-time employees. Yeah, yeah. And, and I know that you have been able to get really, really high, high ticket uh, international references. Are you able to mention some of those that your machine has been used where? <laughs> yeah, maybe the most famous ones are when Al Jazeera, there's like a, one of the greatest media houses in the whole world. They created voting aid application for Egypt and also to the US presidential elections in 2000 and, uh, 2012. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, and they were very popular. So this voting aid application is like an intelligent survey. And the idea is, is so that you will first ask questions from the candidates yeah. and then you will publish that survey so that uh, voters can answer the same questions and they will easily find match with each of the candidates and they will then know which is, is, which is the candidate to vote for. And yeah. actually our voting aid tool, has, which is like a one part of that intelligent survey platform that we have, uh, it has been used in 40 different countries this far and it has had, had a huge impact in, uh, in many elections. Also in, in, that, in, in that point of view that who are the candidates and parties which will even win the whole election. Yeah, so you are not making political influence. It's not that. It's that you just present the candidates and, and connect the voters to the candidates in a right exactly. way. Exactly. And that, 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 is, that is a very important point so that we have to be totally transparent and not like a participating in anyhow in elections and in, in any kind of like a political affair. Yeah. I also admire in you, Jaakko, that you're a father of five children. Wasn't it like that? Yeah, yes it is. You, you are right. My, how, you, how did you do that to run a company at, as, at, in 40 countries and, and then <laughs> also have a big family? I, I can only answer that in one way. Okay. I have the, the greatest blessing in my life is my wife. All right. And she's such a great lady that she, she's taking care of the family so well that, that I, I can do like long hours and... Yeah. Well, and at, actually, at the same time, he's also like a, keeping me in, in conditions in, in, in many ways. Yeah, you know, Jakob, when, when we found your company, 
I think it was Bo Harald who, who recommended you, and, 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 and then I st we started to use you, your company, and, and then I got support from your personnel. And I remember that I felt something special, that the, the warmth that came from them was something that I haven't experienced before. Tell us a little bit about your company culture and the values that you promote. I think they are super special. Hey, thank you for saying that. Yeah, in TEP, we have three values. And values for us means that whatever we do, we always act on, like, based on those values. Yeah. And the first and the most important value is love, which means that we treat each other, customers and users with love, and we love what we do. Yeah, and, and that I could feel. I could feel that. Very good. I had never seen, you know, customer, uh, uh, customer contact persons who, who were so joyful, you know, and they were so glad, and everybody was that. Everybody, all persons I meet, and they were super glad and polite. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can tell honestly that, for example, now I can see two of my, like, uh, co-workers here. They are such a great, like, a personalities and people that, this, this, this is, this is Take the them to the picture, Jack. Wave to them. Come over yeah, here. I, I will. So here they are. Heidi is there and <laughs> one is there. Okay. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. This is nice. But hey, on the wall behind you, behind you we can see some words. What are those? <laughs> yeah, actually, this is our value wall. And here, as the first one, here's the love. Okay. <laughs> and then the next one is passion. And then here the next one, bravery. Oh, wow. So love, passion, and bravery. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, and I, I, I must say that you have succeeded to get that through to your customers. And I think that that is something that it isn't so, so uh, normal that everybody has that. And then I know that we talked many years ago about the one pager. And you didn't buy my services, Jaco, but you took the idea, and that was quite okay because I share it. But, and then you developed it further. I had never seen such a fantastic one picture that you have. It's a, it's a really a, 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 a art piece, I think. Tell us a little bit about the story. What was the situation when you realized that you must write something? Yeah, actually, it went so that when Nikos had the founder of Rovio, the Angry Birds company, he joined our board. This is uh, something like uh, six years ago. Yeah. And the first thing, when we had the board meeting, Nicholas told that we have to build one pager for Jeff. And Nicholas told that I know one guy who is the very best, maybe in the whole world. And in my personal opinion, you are the very best in this area in the whole world. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It, it, this was like a pretty beautiful way, what, what you, the beautiful words that, that you said, but I will humble in front of you when we are talking about, about the one pager. Oh boy. But it was, when, when Nichols joined our board, the first thing he, wa he wanted that we, you, that we have to build the one pager, and then Nikos arranged that meeting with you, and then we met in, it was in uh, Kale Satama in Espo, and then you told the basic idea, and and actually, you, you told the whole idea of that. Yeah. And then we, we did all we can to create our one pager exactly in that way. Yeah. And we did it. And then uh, it was like a one year later, we realized that there are a couple of things. For example, the culture in, in that like a, a basic uh, one pager like a model, the culture is not there. But I, I'm sure, certain you have customers who, ha, who also have a culture. Yeah, values we have very often, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so we, we, we made it so that we, put, we placed the, like a dream and purpose of being, like the vision, we, we placed it on the top. Yeah. So th this is where we are going. Whatever happens, we will always turn our eyes in that uh, vision, our dream. And that, that, that is like a leading, leading us all the time to the right direction. Yeah. And then on the very bottom of that one pager are our values. Yeah. It's like the base for everything that we do. So then we added culture on top of that values because first when we have values, 
then the culture is uh, like a coming from, from those values. And then we added customer need there. And then we, we made the value proposition to like, uh, actually we took the canvas model. We took the yeah. canvas model and we placed it in, in the one pager. And then we, we made some con con concrete goals for like uh, the whole team. And that then like uh, once a year, we, we made some little changes and sometimes bigger changes. And actually just uh, one month ago, we got a new one pager, we, and we, which we are like a very, I, 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 can, I can show it to you if you. If yeah, you yeah, please do that. I think everybody is now so curious that, that we can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let, let's go through. Yeah, it, it's so fantastic. It, it's really, it, it's, like an, it's like a painting, the whole stuff. Okay, here we have it. Yes. So, okay. first, like, take like walk, walk, through, walk us through this one now. Okay, so here the sun is representing our dream and purpose of being, and in Zeppi, it is helping the world with decisions. Yeah, that's not only your vision, that's your purpose, because that is your doing all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, it is always when, uh, when doing strategy work. It is very difficult to get people to understand what is the different be difference between mission and vision. Yeah, so that's true, and I know that very well. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided that we are, we are going to have dream and purpose of being, and it's also the mission at the same time. Exactly. We have come to the same conclusion with very many clients. Yes, I had done seventy-two one page just now. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then on the left side of, of this dream, we have one other, other, other dream, which is for our team and for our development yeah. to, become, to, to become to be the best place to be and work in the world. So every day we are doing our best to improve uh, everything. So Talk that we... about ambition. Talk about ambition. <laughs> yes. And also... Like this far, we have been awarded the best place to work in Finland and the fourth best company to work for in Europe. So wow. we are also going in that direction. But here's the point. When you have this kind of like a clear goals, they are guiding. They are always guiding. Kirsti Paakkanen, I, I love Kirsti Paakkanen, the founder of Mari Mekko. And I have, I'm like a very grateful that he's, he's a very close friend of mine. And yeah. Kirsty is always saying that uh, if you don't have a dream, it cannot come true. It's true, Jakko. And meanwhile, I, I remember you sent me a book last summer. And I was so surprised to have a book. And there was so in handwriting your, your words. That, that, and, and I read and thought, tell us about the book. Hey, hey thank, thank you. This book... The name of the book is You Can. You Can. Actually, it has, it has been just like last week, I got the translations for okay. that. So now it is translated in English. You Can, yeah. And, uh, and the, the point of that, is that that book is very closely related to Tepi and our culture. Yeah. And I can see there that we are a passionate gang. Yeah who has globally grown CEFI pro, profit, pro, profitability. What is it? A profit? I can't see here. Yeah. Go, go yeah. This there. is our common goal for this year. Yeah. Actually, if you read very carefully, what does it mean? Yeah. That there is a very like a high level meaning behind these words. That yeah. we are a passionate gang, okay, who has globally grown CEFI profitable. Yeah. So we just published our product for global sales. So okay. now everybody can go to our website, zeppi.fi, which I, of course, recommend everybody of your listeners to do right away. Yeah. Okay. But now no, no, when it's like a published so that anybody can, can buy it worldwide. So our goal is now that we, we are globally growing and in profitable way. Yeah. 
Okay, great. Is is the is it zephi.com or zeph.com? Which one? It's it's zep.fi. Zep.fi. Yeah, sorry because I have this prompter here in my, so I didn't see. Yeah, zep zep.fi. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, okay, what else? The, what is the blue ball there? <laughs> Yeah, this blue ball is uh, our value proposition. So, and it is also the unique competitive advantage that we have okay. compared to any survey tools available. Yeah. So it's delightful. It means that it's a very delighting user experience to answer surveys and also to create and analyze surveys. Okay. And the second one is intelligent, which means that we have inbuilt uh, algorithms and artificial intelligence even in our reporting. So when, when you have the data and you go to the interactive report, yeah. it, you, you can in just like a one view, you can see the whole picture very quickly. And we, we, we have heard from our customers, they, they love it. Yes, and I use it all the time, and, and this normalization is, is a feature. It's a little bit difficult always to explain that maybe we shouldn't do, but that's a feature that you take, to take away the attitudes of the, of the answer guy. Some is very positive, some is a little bit more critical, and they are talking about the same thing. And this software can put them together and, and take away the attitude, so, and not only to to make an average between these two. So that's a feature. Now I explain it to you. As you can see, Jaco, I know exactly what it is. Yeah. So how about, what are the red dots there? The red, red, red dots are our teams. We have three teams. As you can see, everything here, almost everything in this one page is divided in threes. Yeah. And for that, only number, only number three. <laughs> yeah. For, for example, the Steve Jobs was all, always using trees. And yeah. uh, in Finland, we had that famous politician a couple of years ago, Alexander Stubb. And he was also, there's a three points. Yeah, he was always with his fingers, yeah. It's a exactly. three counter, I call them three counters, yeah. I'm a two counter myself. <laughs> yes, and, and the reason why, when, when, if there is someone, somebody like a watching this and listening to this, who is creating a one-pager, it is very wise to use those threes because yeah. how, how human calculates, we calculate one, two, three, many, many, <laughs> many. So if, you want, if you want to ensure that your employees understand and they remember your strategy, it's very good to have threes in there. Three values, three value propositions, three... Yeah, and where, where do you have the focus areas? Where are they now in this picture? Uh, what, what did you say? What, which focus areas? I mean, what, where are the big choices you have made in the strategy? Do you have them here? I can see the, the, yeah. the three are divided again in three beneath. Yeah, I, actually here. They are goals. They are goals. Are those goals or what are those? Mm. The, the, these are actually our processes. This, yes, is this is okay. This yeah. is very useful. For example, when a new employee start work start working in Chef, it, it takes me about twenty minutes to explain him or her exactly where we are going, what are our values, what are our teams, what are the responsibles in each teams, how each process functions, so that they get the full big picture and they understand from the fir first day exactly what, what is it all about. So for example, tech and design team, they have R&D process, yeah. so a product development process. Then data driven means that we, we, have, we have built KPI funnels, which we are measuring in real time all the time. And all the data is uh, like accessible for all, all our employees. Yeah. At any time. And then brand. Brand development goes also there. A completely transparent data. Yeah. Yeah. And then sales and marketing. We, we have here performance marketing, which is all the Google ads and that kind of stuff. Then yeah. we have direct sales, which is like a face to face sales. And then respondents. And this is our respondent funnel. And actually, if I scroll down, th th this is the main funnel that we have. So when someone is answering to the survey, we will we will like uh, direct these respondents to start creating their own surveys. So okay. respondents will become visitors, then guests, 
then signups, and then paying customers. Okay, very and then nice. We get new customers from them. They will create new surveys, and we'll, we will get more respondents. And this is the main engine that that will run our business. And then, like a strategy wise, we have carefully thought that which is the market placement, what, where we are focusing, and how, how do we like a differ, differentiate from the competitors okay. and, and so on. And it's like I described in here. Okay. And then there's Tetris five secrets. Yeah, so that, now, I love that one. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we, we both are fans of Russell Brunson. Yeah, we are. Russell Brunson is our fan. He's a, the secret guy. So okay. uh, what we are doing is Stratego is strategy secrets and, and you are doing survey secrets. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this, this, this is funny in a way. First, you introduced me to the one-pager ideology. Yeah. And then you introduced me to the Russell, Russell Brunson's. Yeah. Like a, yeah. And it, he is just uh, the best, like a, he is definitely the best marketing genius living nowadays, especially for our industry. Yeah, it's true. And I, we, we joined his conference a few weeks ago, a month ago, yeah. And we went to Nashville, yeah. It was, it's really a 4,500 entrepreneurs. Jako, next year you have to join us. Next year, I told you that already. Hey, I, I, I will join you. Oh, that's nice, yeah. yeah. So, and then I see you have still down there. Let's talk a little bit more. Can you scroll down a little bit? You have even a customer per personas there, buyer personas. Yeah. Yep. Because in our industry, uh, for example, we have uh, we, 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 we have like hundreds of active customers like everywhere, and then there are like a multinational organizations. Yeah. Yeah. Use Zeppi. And then we have some very little, for example, some art schools using it. Yeah, okay. Doing one or two surveys a year. So in, in our, our like industry, it, it is like almost impossible to segment customers because they are coming from all, all areas and, and so on. Yeah. So it's like a better to uh, like a segment customers by what kind of... Uh, user personas we have yeah, and what kind of buyer personas we have you mean it's difficult to, uh, to, uh, to segment companies but you you segment individuals yeah exactly yeah for example in buyer personas there's yeah. this ceo christian as the first the first guy here yeah so he's many times the one who makes the decision yeah that's but it's true. rare that he's the one using the product yeah 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 so, so we, we have to treat them all. In, and in you the have analyzed all those guys and, and their needs and so on. So you, have, you can tell a small story about each one. Yeah. yeah actually, we, we hired, hi, hired uh, Janne Lahti, okay. which is now m m maybe, one, m maybe even the best in this area in Finland. Okay. So he did that. He is he's a professor yeah. at the same time. So, so he, he did very, very like... Uh, very yeah. valuable and deep research. And then we even tested it so that we created a survey with Zeppi. Yeah. And we asked from, from these different uh, buyer personas, we asked well, what kind of personalities they are yeah. uh, and, and so on. So, so that there is like a big study behind it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Hey, uh, I mean, I can only congratulate uh, Jakko, you and, and the Zef, your Zef crew, Zef crew, because this is, this is remarkable. This is remarkable. Nobody else has, has one like this. But tell me, what, what, was, what did people say when you built this and how did you do the process? What, what was difficult? What was easy? <laughs> uh, it, 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 the, the most important thing is like a very honest discussions and uh, bravery to so, so that we are brave to change because it is so it is so like uh, easy to get stuck in something yeah but in in our industry we, we have to change all the time and yeah. I believe it, it goes to all the like uh, industries no, no, nowadays yeah so it is like a, once a year we we like uh, started from scratch. Yeah. And to have discussions with everybody in, in Chef. And then with, within the management team, 
there we will like uh, decide like a uh, we will decide okay this and that and and so on and also as a board will 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 be involved yeah uh, the most important part when creating this is that we will create a survey to the whole team so that everybody yeah. will answer and they will tell their like opinions about about yeah. it and then we will take those reports and we will go through those reports and from there if we like a unanimously agree uh, in this like what, what is the vision and values and so on so from from after that survey we only after the survey we will make the final decisions that okay this is our dream yeah. these are our values and i can actually show you so show you quickly yeah how we do how we have been doing I'm this. I'm using this all the time with my clients and we involve the whole personnel also in creating strategy. It's really, really fantastic. Yeah. That's, the, that's the matrix, yes. Two, yes. two dimensions. Yeah. So the, the first question group was about the new Zeppi brand. So pre previously we had, we, we were Zepp, but now we are Zeppi. Okay. So that's Zepp.fi. So yeah. how do you like the new logo? Okay, people loved it. It's on the top right corner that I like it in this way and fits Zeppi. So everybody like agrees that uh, they like the new logo and they like the new name. So it was okay. very easy to make a decision that, okay, that's it. Okay. And then you can always see heat maps for, for, for that where exactly people have clicked click their answers. For example, how do you like new Zeppi name? There is one who, who don't like it so much. Okay, yeah. And it's always when you're when doing that, that there are some people who don't like, but the average point is the, is the point where, where you want to make your decisions. Yeah. For future, here is all the like, a, like a questions related to the future. And as you can see, they are all here. So people, yeah. we've, and th this is very good way of doing that, that you ask in that X axis, you ask, ask that we will do it. I disagree, I agree. And yeah. in Y scale, you ask importance for me. Yeah. So if people at the same time believe and want to do it, and then if they, if they feel that it's important. Look at, look at those results. I mean, you get all in the, in the upper, upper right corner. I mean, look at that company, what kind of agreement they are. I mean, you are so aligned. You are so aligned, Jaakko. And it's based on, on, on the whole thing that you started from values and, and you have this great idea to help the world, the sun, the purpose. And, and then you get the results like this. I mean, there's no, there's no need for a decision. It's there already. Yeah, but I, I can tell you honestly that when we started the program, when we did the first time, yeah. there were more in here. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Because this is a part of our culture and so because we have been doing it together yeah. and we have also also this also means that uh, I, I can tell you honestly that it's impossible to have it like this if you haven't had great challenges together as a team which yeah we let's uh, because now everything looks like so super in your company when, when when i listen to you like this but hey you have had some challenges also and and how to avoid such challenges for other companies. Jaakko, now you learned something. Tell us about that also. Yeah, there, there, there is so many. I have many times thought that I have maybe done every single mistake that I <laughs> can do. Oh boy. Hopefully I have uh, learned the valuable lessons from, from there. Yeah. But what, in, in, in Zeppi, from the beginning, we have always had very big dreams. Yeah, so like all in mentality. Yeah, and we have been taking huge risks, so so that because our our, our like our dream, the, the helping the world with decisions, it's very simple. What it actually means, it means that we are the number one survey provider in the whole world. Okay, when you have a big dream, the challenges and the growth that you must go through, it's also going to be like a like a huge. Yeah, yeah, and and that, that this is actually this you can book. It is. Uh, I, I have received over five hundred personal emails from the readers, which I'm very grateful that that it has been helpful that book to the readers. Yeah, and the 
where, where it comes from. It, it co- comes from those like uh, challenges where I have been and where the whole team, where, where we have been. And we have learned about uh, m- m- many different stuff. And we, we all in tech, we are reading a lot of books. Okay, yes, I know that you have you, you have your mentors on your wall. <laughs> Tell us about that. That's that's really funny. Hey, I, 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 would you like me to show it? Yeah, show it. That's yeah, actually, <laughs> I, I can show it from here. Oh boy, there they are. So there they start. They are all his mentors. He had read the books and he looked at them and, and you look at them and then you tell, what would he say to me today? <laughs> exactly. It, it, it is so that when you make that, when you select mentors like, like in, in this way, they kind of become a close friends to you. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, it is also very useful in a psychological way. Everybody knows that that anybody can think in any situations how my mother or father would uh, like uh, like me to act, for example. But it is very, very useful. I, I'm, I'm reading a lot of books and actually, I, I want to show you one book, which I okay. know you will love if you if you yet haven't read that. Mm-hmm. Principles by Ray, Ray Dalio. Okay, I haven't read that one, yeah. Yeah, the, the, this is... Uh, it is always so some books just like a hit. Like yeah. A, okay. I have to take that. Thank you for sharing. You know who I, I'm? I'm mentoring. It's my grandfather. I haven't never met him. He died before I, before I was born. But I have all these old photographs from from 1915. You know, and things like that. I have them all in my in my mobile. And I can look there, you know, and I, I, I have so many pictures here and I look at them and how they, how they did their summer cottages and so on. And I can kind of get advice from, from him. So I know him even though I haven't ever met him. It's funny. Well, this, this is a parenthesis. But hey, Jaco, uh, maybe you could close the, the screening now, so uh, the sharing of the, so that we could see you a little bit bigger. Yeah, thank you. But hey, uh, tell, me, tell me still about, uh, about strategy and, and give me one example of a hurdle, of a pitfall or trap that you have found. What can, what should your listeners now avoid? <laughs> well, what one like a very common uh, like a challenge that everybody has is how you like a, how you design the words. For example, when selecting what what is the vision? Yeah, many times it becomes too long, yeah. and it becomes somehow very difficult to understand. Yeah. So it, it must be, this is, in, in, this is in a way like a, this is so simple. Things must be so simple that, that everybody, even two years old kids can, can understand it. Yeah. So like a, you're kind of like a strategy genius. You can understand whatever st- strategy you will read. You can yes, understand. but my motto is simplify strategies. So I want to make them simple. So, so I completely Jaco, share your view. <laughs> yeah. And it, when, when we are looking at the like our most successful companies in the world, they all have a very simple and understandable like a purpose of being or dream or vision or mission they do they do so and and it has nothing to do with earning money that the money is a result of making great deeds for your customer then of course there is money involved but but the growth comes from something that is good that you help your customers to do it's really funny yeah so so and and this actually one other thing which is uh which is also very important is that uh, the strategy touch so that it touches your heart? Mm. It, it it must be like that. No, no, nowadays there are so many job oppor- opportunities for for great people. So everybody wants to work for some uh, like a like a deep down uh, important purpose. Yes. So it was very good you mentioned that money because uh, money won't make it. No. Money money won't like a touch hearts. No, it's nice to get it, but that's not the core. It's, we all need money because otherwise we can't make a living. But but uh, but it doesn't touch hearts. That's that's really true. 
to combine a, a business where you can do something meaningful and then of course get a lot of money that's that's the optimum place to be in yeah that's the zenith yeah hey uh, uh Jaco, a few words about implementing this one pager about you so what have you learned during the years now what is important in the implementation phase the most important is the survey <laughs> well, good. It's definitely the most important because while you are answering it you are thinking very carefully what does it mean and then when you make the decisions together as a team so that is also a huge part of that implementation so that you made the decision together yes. so it, it's it's a Kind of, you know, and genuinely together, genuinely together, because the, I, you know, I have seen also much of that kind of, uh, I call it the smoke screen that you know the management, top management, ask people for for views, and and uh, then they don't listen. Yeah. Then they do, so they go against the views, and they only put, uh, and then they drop down something which is their own thinking, but not supported by the personnel. And then they start to motivate and sell the strategy. You know, all these town hall meetings, when you come with the ready strategy, and then there's always this question that comes when there's a Q&A part, then some, somebody puts up their hand and they say, what does this mean concretely? And, and, and that's it. And then he tries to answer something, and then they go out and they would like to understand what the strategy is, but they don't. They don't know how they should apply it because they haven't been involved. Yeah, you, you told that Peter Westerbakka has been uh, your yeah. guest. Yes. They think about, for example, when he was, when they had the founding meeting, when they, when they founded SWAS, yeah. Peter told in the first meeting that this is going to be the most important this kind of event in the whole world. Yeah. Think about there were some students there. They were like laughing that we are in Helsinki and blah, 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 blah like, like this. But what happened after that? Okay, then in Rovio, that this is going to be more popular than Tetris. Okay, even the employees were, were like laughing at that. Yeah, the angry birds. Yeah, yeah. so if, if, if it's many, many times in, in companies, the entrepreneur is a visionary. If there is a if, if there are like a brave people who are who have like a bravery to think big and so on, so this is this is something that you you have to con consider when you are doing doing the one pager because if, if you put something small down, it doesn't uh, flame the hearts of the employees. So they want want to have something yeah. that is that is big, but the, the, there is a like a thin line that is it like a too big or is it like a big enough. So, so where, where it is, in yeah. a way? This is a big problem. We see it when we do strategy processing for bigger companies all the time, that in the beginning, everybody is thinking out of box. But then when comes the, the, the sixth workshop, where is the tough choices you should make, then there is no bravery at place. And then it goes back to the convenience area. Bravery is there when you don't really make the decision, and then it. And we are very much now considering that how could we somehow implement more bravery in that? You know, if they say that if 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 you could measure in money all the lost opportunities that top management does, yeah, I mean that that sum would be huge because there isn't the bravery. Jako. Wow, thank you for sharing this. What would be, still, I would still like to make a summary. Hey, you have said it probably many times, but make please a summary. What is your advice to the, to the top advice now to the viewer? What would you say is important concerning strategy? The first thing came to mind was this values that treat all the employees and everybody with love. And then act always with a huge passion. And third, whatever you do, do it in a brave way. Jaakko Alasarela, CEO of Sef, beautiful company, beautiful 
top manager, beautiful coach, beautiful leader. I congratulate you and wish you all good. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you and all the best. All the best. See you. See you.